Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 15 of the My Player series here on Xbox One. Now, we had a amazing weekend when it comes to this series and the channel as a whole. We hit 7,000 subscribers on Saturday. We uh, were in amazing form when it comes to this My Player series, picking up three Man of the Match awards, loads of golds, a couple of assists as well to get thrown in there, a 9.5 rating and a 9.8 rating as well. We grew up to 73 as a professional. You guys smashed 100 likes on both of the weekends to my player video so if you could do that again today that would be absolutely amazing and I'd be forever thankful to you if you could hit 100 likes on this video as well but let's jump into the season or into the uh, episode as a whole as you can see we've got Port Vale in the first game today and then we're going to have Oldham in the second game we're sitting quite nicely in the league as you can see we're fifth with a game in hand should we win that game in hand we will be able to move up to second and into the automatic promotion spots so we're having a very very good season so far as a team and individually as well on a loan spell playing well progressing nicely as a as a pro as a player on a personal level and of course the team are doing very very well indeed as well but let's jump into this first game then see if we can pick up three points at home against Port Vale it's a good challenge there by Brayford and make a run for Billy he's not been able to find us but he has found McGinn there's not much space here you can see the centre back is following me either centre back is uh, he's picking me up quite quickly, there's McGinn on the edge of the box he's found us, I'm going to try and finesse it we have got the shot away but unfortunately it's straight at the goalkeeper, no real accuracy with that, I was trying to get it into the far top corner and kind of kicked it just directly down the middle of the goal not the best but it's a chance well, at least we're creating something in the early stages, I don't want us to get caught on the counter considering the manager has moved to attacking, my guy's just nutmegged himself there as well, though we could be in here, Billy Painter, can he have a shot from that angle, he can't might be able to find us though, maybe. He's running everywhere. He's done well to keep possession. Not really too sure where he's going. It's kind of hard to find a position in the box when it's so close quarters like this. But we've still got the ball. Now can he stand it up? No, he's found someone on the edge of the box. It's McGinn. Into Brayford, our right back. Into us. Finesse shot blocked. 50 shots of 50 on target though, so a long shot has gone up one. At least we're growing. Nice ball into Flynn. Square to the back post. Here's Billy Painter. Ball's still free. I'm going to ask for that to get knocked down. It looks like they're going to clear it, although, yeah, it does look like they're going to clear it, unfortunately. That was kind of a prolonged clip that didn't really have anything in it of any real note, unfortunately. So going in at half-time uh, at nil-nil, rather unsurprisingly, considering it's been the most boring half of football that we've had in this series for quite a while, to be completely honest. Nothing is happening in this game. We're keeping possession quite well, or at least it feels like we're keeping possession quite well, even though it's 49-51 in their favour. And uh, we're creating chances. We've had those two, but nothing really, nothing really of any particular, you know, real note. Just the two chances that we actually had ourselves. Unfortunately, no goal coming from it. So uh, our shots to goal ratio is going to be dropping. But hopefully we can get a little bit more of the game second half. And uh, maybe pick ourselves up a goal. We'll pick the ball up here. Billy Payne has made a lovely run in behind. We're going to find him. I'm going to tell him to shoot. He's had the shot. And it's just swished wide of that far bottom post. That was a great shot. Tight angle. Probably could have taken it a little bit earlier. Good technique, though, to get it across the goalkeeper. Didn't even bother diving for it, and that is so close to putting us 1-0 up in the early stages of this second half. Good signs for the rest of these 45-minute period. Time to make a change for us then. Jose Baxter coming on for Scalgo. Hopefully that's uh, an attacking change. Baxter's more of a cam than he is a, uh, an out-and-out -out centre mid, so hopefully that means we're going to be pushing forward a little bit more so in this uh, final period of the second half. Baxter's on the ball here. He's found us. Make me run. Actually, Jose Baxter's made a nice run there. Might be able to find him. We have done. Get the ball, Harris. Now, can you get across him? That's the most important thing right here. Please. Can you just maybe cross the ball a little bit? Jose Baxter. <laughs> oh, I said it like that. Baxter. Begin. Out wide. Harris. Just cross the ball. Just cross the ball. He has crossed the ball, and it's a poor cross and not anywhere near us. Oh, of course that, and I shouldn't have done He's found us. We've got a man on the overlap. It's Harris. Harris is the man that doesn't like to cross it. Although, if the referee doesn't blow there, I'm going to call for it. We could be in. McGinn! Off oh, the post! It's still free! It's still free! Oh, is that a corner? It's a corner. I don't know how that's not ended up going in the back of the net. Or how the goalkeeper hasn't managed to pounce on that as he rebounded back off the post. Both sides making a change. 
Chibangu coming on for McGinn. Chibangu is the other very, very good player in the squad along with ourselves. So hopefully he can have a positive impact in these last few minutes. We'll try and win up. Oh, try to go up for the head there. Strike! Oh, it's not anywhere near on target. Well, that was what is most commonly known as a ball draw, to be completely honest. Port Vale were the, actually, thinking about it, Port Vale were the other team that were interested in us during the, uh, the opening transfer window. If you remember, they were the first team that came in for us on loan and then we turned them down and uh, we've come to Sheffield United. But unfortunately, neither of the teams can make the breakthrough and uh, we only take a point from this one. Still undefeated, but uh, not the best of games all round for anyone in, uh, in that game. We had more of the ball, more, more chances. Apparently they didn't create anything, which is uh, surprising, but still, we'll, uh, we'll take a point. We'll see where we are in the league after that game. So we've got Oldham next. Not sure. Uh, we've dropped down to fifth. Actually, I think we were fifth anyway, weren't we? Nobody else really got a positive result either, and we could still go second with a win with that game in hand. Oldham are 13th as well, our next opponent. So hopefully we can come up with a victory in the next one and really cement our places in the playoffs, maybe push towards those auto spots. At least it's sunny today for this game against Oldham. That's an improvement. I don't play very well in the rain, as you guys are well aware. But fingers crossed this uh, with a turn up in the, uh, in the weather. Hopefully we can have a turn up in performance as well. Think the ball that there. Into McGinn, you've got Billy Painter running free. Now this is... Oh, why is he trying to turn back there? That's what annoys me about the AI. They make stupid decisions. Two on one there, and he's decided to try and turn back towards his own goal. Billy Painter plays me around the outside, though. Step over, cut inside. Get away from one, get away from the other. Square the ball. Oh, can't quite get the ball across before the defender's able to come back. Stick a cheeky foot in corner for Oldham just before the half hour mark they could whip this in with Harkins and they could get themselves in front with a header here if they can get the end of it they can't it's dropped free to David Warrell on the edge of the box though we're gonna have to close him down I'm gonna call for the second man press maybe hopefully oh it's a lovely three that is a fantastic goal by Oldham Athletic honestly the passing and the movement there was absolutely next level they deserve that lead. We've not been good enough so far in uh, in either of the games so far this episode. We're just not on uh, not on our game right now. That is a lovely ball through and a great finish as well. 1-0 Oldham. Nice turn. We thread, thread through to Murphy. We found him at least. Chibangu. It's a nice ball around the outside to Billy Painter. It's a nice ball through. Davis could be in with a finish. And it's into the back of the net. It's 1-1. Decent finish. Goalkeeper probably should have done better considering he got a hand to it. Have a look at a replay of it if I can skip the celebrations, which I can. Decent angle as well. Nice ball inside there from uh, Billy Painter, I think it was. Oh, keeper really unlucky. Did well to get a hand up to that. Dive down to his right, and it was quite central. That is really, really unfortunate. But nonetheless, we're back on level terms at 1-1. We'll take a goal any way they come with the former in right now today's episode. Nice thought through ball. Billy Painter's brought it down beautifully. Chibangu, has he got the pace to get away? He doesn't quite. Goalkeeper's clearances aren't normally that good, though. Again, it hasn't been here. Really, Riff? You're going to blow half-time there? <laughs> oh, it's just about to bring that down and try and create something. Nonetheless, anyway, whatever. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. No, I'm wrong again. 1-1 one one at half-time as uh, we head in at the break. It's nice to have the teammates chipping in with a goal, to be completely honest. It's been a while since the teammates scored a goal. We've kind of been doing everything ourselves here at Sheffield United recently. So uh, to be able to, you know, potentially get a result with a team performance rather than just a solo performance is, uh, is hopefully a positive thing for the team as a whole. Billy's done well to win that back. Billy Painter, volley that. Oh, so close. That sat up perfectly for a volley into the back of the net. Just that first touch. Poor first touch, but... It just bent away, as you can see, the spin on the ball to get away from the post. It's frustrating. Jose Baxter coming on again, though, from McGinn. Clearly, it's the manager's favourite substitution to bring uh, to bring Baxter on. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Jose Baxter. Is the keeper going to come? He's not. I'm going to go for the powerful near post finish. It's an awful shot from me. Really is horrible. I just... Oh, I didn't put enough power on that. Can we get played in again? No. Over here, over here. Play me. Right, got a man running. Go on then, go on then. No, over the top, you prick. It's a shame you can't call for, you know, balls in the air. They always try and play it on the floor, whether it's a through ball or... Uh... Oh. So it's not falling for us right now. It's two opportunities we've had in close proximity that just haven't ended up going into the back of the net. Get us tackling. 
Stackle? I don't know what a stackle is. Get a tackle in. He's done well. Play me. Chance. This is a the chance of the half. Cut inside. How can you blow there? Oh my days. Both halves. The referee has absolutely called up. When I'm, we're about to create a great opportunity. I can't believe he's blown his whistle there. He lets me run all the way down the pitch. Turn his side to play it to the supporting striker. And he blows the final whistle. Can't believe it. We finish 1-1. We get two points then from this episode. I'm really annoyed right now with the referee. We only get a 6.2 in that one as well. Those two chances were so good for us as well. We really should have scored in that game. I'm disappointed in myself for, uh, for not having more of an impact in uh, either of these two games. It's, uh, it's a disappointing episode overall, but as a whole, we, uh, we stay undefeated. Though We've got Coventry next. That is a massive game. They're second in the league. That's huge. A massive, massive game coming up in the next episode, which will, of course, be coming to you on Thursday evening. But that's it for tonight, guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Of course, there will have been an AC Milan career mode episode earlier on today. There will be another one tomorrow afternoon, and uh, that is how this tunnel works. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. We hit 7K over the weekend previous, which is absolutely superb. Let's push forward towards that 8K, shall we? And uh, I will see you tomorrow with more AC Milan career mode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.